Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary Bruton on the Fan TV, man. Back at you on the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. And let's talk about the Ravens' latest draft pick. Uh, drafted last night, uh, Trenton Simpson, linebacker, Clemson. All right, so that's who the Ravens selected with 86 overall pick. And obviously, it's very interesting for a multitude of reasons. But let's just talk about it from purely... Um, let's talk about the player first, and then we'll get into the other stuff. All right, so... Uh, Trenton Simpson, 6'3", 240, big dude, but fast as hell. 4'4", 3 speed, blazer. I think he did 25 reps on the bench, so pretty strong as well. Um, NFL.com had him rated as a second-round pick, so the Ravens got him in the third. Of course, NFL.com has good value. Um, he has experience at playing outside linebacker and inside linebacker. I think John Harbaugh even said that they, they could potentially move him out there to the edge sometimes. So just to kind of get him up on the field with some type of snaps, kind of move him around. Um, so that's, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, personally, I watched the NFL draft pro uh, broadcast on NFL Network. So on NFL Network, Daniel Jeremiah had up there, had him compared to Devin White. Now, with anybody the kind of player that Devin White is, fast, physical to the point of the football, but he can struggle taking on linemen, right? And that seems, like, that seems like the same kind of physical profile as Trenton Simpson. I mean, we saw Devin White get mold over when we played him last year by uh, Tyler Lindenbaum, like he was bullying them out there. So Trenton Simpson could have the same kind of issues where it's taking on bigger guys on blocks, but he's fast to the point of attack and he flies around the football, okay? Um, now, I, I went to about probably seven, eight different draft websites just to get the consensus of where he landed as an inside linebacker in this class, right? So the lowest I seen him as was the fifth inside linebacker in this class. The highest I seen him as is second. So there was multiple websites that had him as a second inside linebacker. They might have had Jack Campbell as one or Drew Sanders as as one. So those two kind of guys were the main guys I was seeing at one. But uh, Trenton Simpson was pretty high, you know. So a lot of guys had him two, three. One one list had him four. So I mean, one list had him five. Excuse me. So um, he's a player that is liked throughout the draft process. He's a player that the Ravens obviously like. They went to go grab, um, and he fits the profile. Right, fast, physical. Um, kind of football player. That's that, that's Ravens football right there. So it makes sense in a lot of ways. But the important part, um, the interesting part, is what does this mean for Patrick Queen, right? So Patrick Queen's coming up on, not coming up, his 50th option is here. Um, you know, the Ravens have to make a decision whether or not they're going to pick it up. Teams around the league are picking up their players' 50 options. Uh, just looking at the NFL Network ticker at the bottom, AJ Terrell, Falcons cornerback, has had his option picked up. Justin Herbert has had his option picked up. Um, I think just not too long ago, a um, couple of uh, Brandon IU had, had his option picked up. So, you know, guys and teams around the league are picking up their players' fifth-year option. Um, if they want that guy on their team, if they want to have that kind of cost control, the Ravens haven't done that with Patrick Queen yet. So, and honestly, every time Eric DaCosta is asked about whether or not we're going to pick up Patrick Queen's fifth-year option, uh, whether it's in some kind of press conference, he says, well, I'm not going to announce it here. I don't want to talk about it here. Uh, I'm not going to discuss that at this time, point in time, maybe later this week. So it seems like that what we've been saying about the right and been on the wall, wall for Patrick Queen since last year it might be coming true, honestly. Uh, when the Ravens traded for Rokon Smith and then paid Rokon Smith $100 million, they weren't going to pay two inside linebackers big time money. Um, everybody saw that coming. I saw that coming, you know. My thing was I want to keep Patrick Queen here for this year. Then if you want to let him go next year, let him go next year. That's that's you know as part of the business it is what it is. But you can't pay two inside linebackers in this day and age big time money. So drafting Trenton Simpson makes sense because now you restarting at that second linebacker position. Uh, he's on a rookie deal, third year. I'm not third year, excuse me, third round pick kind of rookie deal as well. So obviously way cheaper than a first round pick at a linebacker. So um, it makes sense in a lot of ways. Uh, Patrick Queen even tweeted on uh, Twitter. Tweeted. Patrick Queen was on Twitter and he even posted that. Um, he said, "Sheesh," you know. So everybody's kind of take that as seeing like, you know, he knows that maybe it writes on the wall, right? You know, you know, we like to dig into Twitter stuff and see if we can find out what it means. He could be talking about a whole other thing, but you know, the timing of it was pretty much right after the Ravens drafted that, you know, Trenton Simpson. So, uh, listen, man, he seems like a good player, Trenton Simpson. Um. But it means that the Ravens could be, probably will be, moving on from Patrick Queen um, next year. In my opinion, I don't move Patrick Queen this year just because um, 
I think you still need him. Him and Roquan Smith was were really one of the best inside linebacker duels in the league. So keep that around for one more year. If you don't want to pay him next year, I totally get it. I'm not against that at all. But keep him around for this year. Don't make a strength of the defense a weakness for no reason. Allow Trenton Simpson to come in as a rookie, learn from Roquan, learn from Patrick Queen, and then next year he's ready to take over that that, that second inside linebacker role. All right. Um, listen, man, PQ, good player. Uh, really turned it on last year, but you you know you can't blame the Ravens. The Ravens were looking for him to take that step to be a true like you know Mike kind of linebacker, and he never was that. So. Um, no, all the best luck to Patrick Queen. So, uh, but I think the Ravens should keep him at least for this year. As far as Trent Simpson goes, uh, he said that he was a big time fan of Roquan Smith, so he could learn underneath for him. So that's good. And what they said earlier, what I said earlier about his outside linebacker, inside linebacker versatility, that's big for the Ravens because the Ravens need some more bodies to outside linebacker. So if he can fill in at some point in time, outside linebacker. Uh, that's going to work out perfectly because that's going to get him on the field one, and that's maybe that the Ravens don't have to invest in that position as well. So it could be a win-win for the Ravens uh, as far as next year, just getting Tristan, Trenton Simpson on the field and also filling a uh, a kind of a need right there for outside linebacker as well. So, um, And then I guess the last draft note is obviously the Ravens only had one day two pick. That was that third-round pick, and they did not draft a cornerback. So we are looking for the Ravens to draft a cornerback maybe today on day three. I definitely did today on day three. But um, I think this actually lines up for the Ravens to make some free agent signings. We talked about Rocket Sin, um, maybe bring it back on Marcus Peters. So we'll see what the Ravens decide to do. Um, but yeah, man. So Trenton Simpson, fast, physical linebacker from Clemson. Um, joining an already fast defense, just got faster. He's a 4 4 3 speed at linebacker. That's pretty impressive, especially at 6 3, 240. Um, so I'm excited to see what he can do. And. It's very interesting. Or it can be with Patrick Queen, man. So thank you guys for watching. If you stay to this point in the video, consider getting that subscribe button. We're going to talk about all the Ravens draft picks here, man, um, and just give my thoughts on them. So that's what we're going to do. Give, do the same thing in the comments. Give me your thoughts on Trent Simpson. Do you like the player? What does it mean for Patrick Queen? Let me know your ideas, man. But I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel. Check out the Fan TV. I'm out.